So, uh, we had received a, an email just the other day from an environmentalist uh, in the area who said uh, he was a little suspect of what we were doing and said, yeah, certainly global warming is the issue of the day, but we've got particular community environmental concerns uh, in our county and they have nothing to do with global warming. I was a little surprised by the comment because I hope all of us are recognizing Certainly, uh, my legislative colleagues in Sacramento are now, I think, finally waking up to the fact that just about everything we do impacts the phenomenon of global warming. We have any number of bills moving through the legislature this year that deal with land use and planning issues because, of course, they are directly related to the amount of carbon emissions we'll be putting into our atmosphere in the coming years as we develop and redevelop communities. Vehicle miles traveled is a term we're going to hear more and more about. Currently about 50% of all new homes built in California are single family detached homes. But they're built in these communities where one must, no other option, short of a very long walk or a very long bike ride, no option but to get in one's car to go get a quart of milk, to drive to the school, to a park, to get to work. We have to provide other options for folks. Clearly, automobile will be a primary source of transportation for years to come, but through the concepts of smart growth, building denser housing around transit hubs uh, with mixed use of commercial as well as retail, we can build communities where there are options and one can live without an automobile should one choose. And of course, every new community that we build in that fashion is going to lower carbon emissions. We have a bill moving forward, uh, which is sponsored by the AARP, as well as the California Bicycle Coalition, which would require cities and counties, when they are revising the circulation element of their general plan, to consider all accommodations of a street in their general plan, not just for automobiles, but for pedestrians and for bicyclists and for seniors and for children and for those disabled who may be in wheelchairs, as well as for public transportation. Clearly, this makes good planning sense. Uh, certainly, you wouldn't want to build a new road in a new community and come back five years later and say, gosh, wish we had thought about putting in that sidewalk, wish we had thought about putting that bike lane. It makes sense, not only fiscally, but also, again, to give individuals options and to make sure that the new streets that we're constructing are safe and that people feel safe if they are outside of an automobile in that circulation element.